Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another edition of Faith of Life. My name is Hamid Slimi and I'm your host for this show. Islam is for common sense. And as we discussed many times in this show, Islam is for peace. Islam is against killing innocent people. Islam is against terrorism. Islam is for the betterment of the life of all human beings. Therefore, the Quran's message is to guide people to the path of peace. And in order to be on that path of peace, we have to go through many steps in our lives and we will attain peace. And what everyone needs and wants in this world is to be in a peaceful state, enjoying tranquility and enjoying love and many other good things that we all human beings uh, strive for. The issue of terrorism, peace, and all these things have been in the discussion of Islam and Muslims. Now, fortunately, uh, always we like to emphasize that what Islam is, is not necessarily what Muslims are, and of course, vice versa, because we cannot say this is a religion based on the actions of human beings who are, of course, um, uh, fireable, they make mistakes, they are not... Uh, infallible like the prophets and the angels they make mistakes and the mistakes of course that are uh, done by human beings are not specific to a certain group of people or a certain religion they are human mistakes and there is no human being uh, who does not make mistakes we all make mistakes and the beauty uh, in Islam and I'm sure uh, every religion does recognize that is that when we make mistakes and go back to God and do acknowledge that we have sinned and we made mistakes and what we have done is wrong and we see it wrong and believe is wrong, then God forgives our sins because we do humble ourselves. And all we you need is the goodwill and the, hum and the humility and humbleness to uh, be on the right path. To peace at all levels, socio-political level, um, spiritual level, peace is attained at different levels within oneself, with God Almighty, and of course with the creation of God. And uh, this issue of peace is very important because without peace we have problems, we have wars, we have terrorism. And the issue of terrorism has been unfortunately always um, quoted along with Islam and sometimes it's so frustrating for many Muslims and I'm sure for people with common sense and people with fairness and objective attitude it's very unfair to uh, always say Muslim terrorism because or Islamic terrorism it is impossible it's an oxymoron we cannot say Islam and, and terrorism because this Words don't go along with one another because Islam is peace. Islam is about establishing peace, establishing understanding. And even when we don't agree about very, very uh, fundamental issues, still we should not um, uh, use you know, violence. And the only time, as uh, it is very, very stated in the Quran, Muslims were engaged in war is to defend themselves like any nation does. And any nation has to protect itself, its citizens. And that is the duty of the government. So we do have a history where Muslims had to fight. And the Quran did comment on that in the time of the Prophet. But the ultimate goal was peace, not fighting for oppression or fighting for transgression. As God Almighty says, many chapters do not fight for transgression, but fight to defend yourselves. And this is very important to be clear. And the Prophet himself, the Prophet himself uh, has, 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 was ordered to call people to the path of peace because God is calling us to peace, to the home of peace, as he says here in chapter 10, verse 25. God Almighty says, Allah calls you to the home of peace and guides whom he wills to the straight path. So if God Almighty is calling us to the home of peace, the Prophet himself called to the home of peace. Every Muslim should call to the home of peace. That is the pleasure of God. That is the ultimate goal. What is the ultimate goal is peace at all times and at all levels. And God Almighty, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was defending uh, Medina, and that was uh, in the second 
year after the Exodus, after the migration from Mecca to Medina, these very verses we will see here were sent for him to establish peace. We read here in chapter 8, verse 61, God Almighty says, But if they incline to peace, you also incline to it and put your trust in Allah. Verily, he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. So God Almighty is ordering Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, here in the second year of Hijrah, of, uh, after migration to Medina, and after the Battle of Badr, to make sure that even in this battle, of course, the Prophet with his uh, followers, there were 314 people, and they fought a war against um, the people of Mecca who were coming to kill and assassinate the Prophet, and actually they started doing what we call embargo, economical embargo, and instigating everyone and every tribe to cut off relationship with the Medina community. So when this battle happened, the, the Prophet who was with his uh, army or his group uh, followers, 314, they fought against 1,050 people, and they won the war against this large number, which was more than three times the number of the Muslim uh, community back then. And still, after winning this battle, God Almighty said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, incline to peace, establish peace. You're not there for anything but to bring peace. And, 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 and it's so beautiful to understand that peace and, and, and victory cannot happen unless there is unity. And, and, and there's trust in God. You need that goodwill and good trust and good intention, all these components towards peace. And, and God Almighty wants humans to communicate and come to one word and to be united. That's why immediately after that verse, we read it again in chapter 8. God Almighty says, But if they incline to peace, you also incline to it and put your trust in Allah. Verily, He is the all-hearer. The all knower. And then he says, and if they intend to deceive you, anyone intends to deceive you, whether the Meccans or any other ones who are trying to use deception to break peace, then verily Allah is all sufficient for you. He is, it is He who supported you with His help and with the believers, and He has united their hearts. If you had spent all that is in the earth, you could not have united their hearts, but Allah has united them, certainly he is almighty and, of course, all-knowing.